Oh, oh gosh, you've only we got did it. it. We did it. I know, I can't get out now. <laughs> direction for a drink. There's some photographs being taken outside, and there's a sitting area outside as well. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some photographs being taken out of the front of the building as well by the photographers, and I think they might have a group shot at some point. But uh, no, right. I'll let you know. Oh, let's have a job. Let's have a job. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just having. Uh... Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
ladies, gentlemen, and children. Just a few notices uh, before we start the wedding breakfast. Uh, for your convenience, the conveniences are situated in the corner of that room uh, at the back there. In the very unlikely event of a fire, we have three fire exits. We have one to my right, where Ellie is, the photographer. It's just like being on an aircraft. Uh, one where Sean is, who's been doing all his magic, over by that door. And of course, we've got this door um, here as well. So, without, without any more ado, I need to um, also direct you to a table in the corner of that room, uh, which is the guest book. And um, I will be in serious trouble if everybody has not signed that guest book. Oh, thank you, Sean. And uh, the guest book is a slightly different guest book because we're expecting people to write on little hearts and then insert them uh, into the book themselves. So finally, um, I hope that uh, you have a wonderful uh, wedding breakfast. Uh, we're going to get... Uh, the new Mr. and Mrs. Carl Gilson is soon. And what I'd like you to do um, is just make sure, uh, particularly through the speeches, uh, that your mobile phones are switched to silent or, or turned off. And I think it would be marvellous that when they come in that door, if you could be as noisy and as raucous as you can, you can stamp your feet, you can bash your glasses, you can shout and holler, but I would really like a smashing uh, welcome, Strauss Manor uh, welcome for when your bride and groom come in here. So have I got your word on that? Okay, huh? You want to borrow the mic? <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen and children, would you please give a very warm welcome to your bride and groom, the new Mr. and Mrs. Cargillson. Gentlemen and children, could I ask you all to charge your glasses, please, with whatever you've got in front of you, as it is Adam, Emma and Adam's wish that we begin the wedding breakfast with the wedding speeches. Thank you very much. Are you charged? Yes. Good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen and children, may I introduce to all Derek, the very proud father of the bride. Round of applause. Thank you very much, Derek, and that was really from the heart, and I really think you could do with another round of applause. Thank you very much. So, the next one on the batting order. Uh, without any more ado, I think that must be your very handsome groom, and that would be Adam. Let's hear it for Adam, thank you. One more round of applause for Adam, who is your very special group. Thank you very much. Now then, if one father's speech was not enough, could you please give a most excellent reception uh, for Bob, the father of the group? Thank you. Okay, let's hear it then once more for Bob. And so we come to the final, uh, the final speech, which is a very uh, special speech, uh, because it's going to be uh, given by a very brave Sean. But 
Um, he also asked me, we, we had a wedding rehearsal here um, a couple of days ago, and he asked me if I could bring a little gavel with me. Well, there's a, there's a stereotype, I think, of Toastmasters having gavels. I don't particularly use one, but I did say that I would bring one for Sean. So I'm hoping that Sean might just give a tap of the table before he starts his speech. Okay, there's the gavel. Yeah. Oh, bang on, that bang on the table. Oh, this way. Move that forward. You ready? Like that. Go on then. Okay, can I please introduce Sean, who is going to do the next speech. Thank you very much. Sean, that was absolutely brilliant. I'm really nervous about getting another job here. That's fantastic. Okay, so we've got some birthday cards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, children, that concludes the wedding speeches. And all I'd like to do is thank you for your kind attention and enjoy your wedding breakfast. Thank you very much. When I first booked John as my Toastmaster, I didn't really realise exactly how much a Toastmaster could bring to your wedding day. Having him with me, not just on today, meetings with my photographer and he's just, he rung me every step of the way and kept in full contact with me and done so many never ending demands that I have given him. <laughs> he's brilliant, I, c I could not have got through this day without him and I had no idea of how much a Toastmaster does. and how you can't have a wedding without one. He kept the timings for me, I didn't have to worry about the time once. He kept the photographer on track, he just done everything. All the guests are happy, my guest book is signed to the full. And just I thought it was perfect. You, I thought it was you keeping me on track. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. absolutely could not have asked. Fantastic, brilliant like man. I say, you my honour, my man. privilege.